Well, of tethalates? Like phthalates the, are an endocrine disruptor. Probably the most disturbing endocrine disruptor, and this is something we should all be looking at, is yeah. atrazine. The herbicide atrazine is back in the news. Uh, there was a segment in uh, Joe Rogan where he interviewed uh, RFK Jr., and they discussed atrazine, amongst other things, and uh, he felt that this was responsible, at least in part, for some of the hormone changes we experience, especially in younger people. Now, it's true that atrazine is a hormone disruptor, so it certainly can play a part. I don't think it is entirely to blame for any hormone changes we've seen. And I talked about this before, over the last 70 years, we've seen massive declines, for example, in testosterone and sperm count, but also in general fertility. So there are changes for sure. And, you know, is the current trend where we see more and more young people hormonally being affected, or there could be a gender dysphoria, is that partially related to chemicals? And that's a good question. I don't have the answer to that, but chemicals may certainly play a part uh, in that. And atrazine is a hormone disrupting chemical. There's no question about it. I think it is one of three that I'm very concerned about. Now, atrazine will not be everywhere. It won't be widespread throughout the United States. It is mostly in agricultural regions. It's used like, you know, on corn, sweet corn, soybean, those kind of applications. It can get in the groundwater. And then if you have a private well, then it can be in there in fairly high concentrations. That's actually true. Um, it can get in the public water system, but I think that's less of a concern. I think it's less likely this is very widespread. But the arbitrary limit that the... Uh, that we here have uh, done, which is, you know, uh, three parts per billion, right? And the three parts per billion, that's the federal legal limit. I think um, that is questionable in my opinion, because even in uh, 1999, the uh, California Office of Environmental Health um, Hazard Assessment determined that, uh, you know, a 20 times lower concentration is needed for this to be problematic, you know, in terms of hormone disruption and in terms of its carcinogenic properties. Because another thing that it does, it doesn't just disrupt hormones, you know, it is linked to cancers as well. So, I mean, there are, there are a lot of issues here with atrazine, right? And we certainly should try to not have it in our drinking water and avoid it altogether. Um, but again, blaming it just, you know, blaming just atrazine, I think is very uh, unlikely. It is, again, with the other chemicals playing, playing as part, of course, right? Um, but the interesting thing is that, you know, uh, we are just like really... Uh, trying to push to continue this, you know, we're not really interested in banning it. And this is again, so the EPA and then and FDA, they are somewhat in agreement that we can continue to use it, right? Um, and when you think of corn, uh, like crops like corn, corn is problematic already because most, I would say 90% of corn in the United States is GMO. And it is genetically engineered so that it withstands um, Roundup, you know, the um, glyphosate. Glyphosate is also used in, in crops, you know, to have better crop yields. Um, it will destroy weeds, but it will not destroy the genetically altered corn. So first of all, it's genetically altered, sprayed with glyphosate and apparently also with atrazine. So corn is just something that I would avoid altogether because this is not good. I mean, you know, we have a lot of bunch, bunch of stuff in there that we don't really want, right? Um, so again, what do you do about it if you live in an environmental region where this might be an issue, if it's in the groundwater of a private well? The good news is that if you use an activated carbon filter or a reverse osmosis system, it will take it out almost entirely. So you can filter it out. That's number one. How much of it ends up in the food? I don't know. We don't have good data on this. You know, I, I looked into this again. The crops would be, you know, corn, soybean, uh, sweet corn, sugarcane. How much actually ends up in the actual product? I don't know if, you know, there's nothing re reported, but I'm assuming some of it will get in there again. That's just my assumption. I don't have any good data on this right now. But again, I would avoid these things altogether anyway. And having a good water filter is good already. The other option for your water is, of course, you know, you can get bottled water. But then the problem is you're going to have water in plastic bottles, most likely. Plastic is, of course, you know, it doesn't have to be BPA. Then there's BPC and BPF in there. And then there are phthalates in there. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there that's really bad. These are endocrine disruptors. We want to minimize our use of uh, plastic uh, containers. But if you get a filter, also, I mean, it's more expensive. If you think about it, you buy water bottles all year long, do the math, it's a lot more. Um, you can get a, a good um, uh, activated carbon filter or even better, a reverse osmosis filter. And I talked about, and I'm not affiliated with these guys, but the company uh, Waterdrop makes a good one, I think. It is a reverse osmosis uh, filter. You can buy this on Amazon that has one whole filter cartridge that you change, which has seven stages in there, including an activated carbon filter. And it lasts for over a year. We have one here. I've used it. I think it's excellent water quality. 
And it's easier than having all these little filters you might have to change at different times. So you have one big uh, cartridge. On the tab, it shows you when it's done to change. I think that's a good option. But these are things we can do to protect ourselves. So again, I wouldn't blame atrazine by itself for all the you know, hormonal issues we may have uh, today, but it's certainly part of it. And I think it's also something that we definitely should avoid.